yes my dear friends let us have a look at verb forms see I was just talking to you on v1 to v5. So, this chart gives you a clear picture of what is v1 and what is v5, what is v3, verb forms v1 to v5. I told you that we will have only 5 columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My dear friends, very important. Now, what is important in English to use the words according to time. If where I have to use the word take, where I have to use the word took, where I have to use the word taken, where I have to use the word taking, where I have to use the word takes. If you understand how to use these 5 verbs in English, your English is undoubtedly beautiful and without any grammatical errors. See, second one, sing, sang, sung, singing, sings. You make a list of take any word, you will get only 5. Come, came, come, coming, comes. So, what is the meaning of the word come, where I have to use it? What is the meaning of the word came, where I have to use it? What is the meaning of again verb number 3, come, where I have to use it? What is the meaning of the verb number 4? All verb number 4 is always ing form. Please remember, verb number 4 is always ing form. So, where I have to use coming, what is the meaning of it? And verb number 5 is always a verb with yes or es. You take any example, yes or es, if you add, you will get verb number 5. If you see this, you will have the same, same words other than this, for example. Now, see, play, played, played, playing, plays verb 1 to verb number 5 attend attended attended attending attends so i have to master how to use these five verbs in english and then see where grammatical errors will happen undoubtedly you will speak without any error now speak spoke spoken speaking speaks i just give you an example I speak, what is the meaning of that I will explain later. I spoke, what does it indicate? We will discuss. Now, spoken, definitely there comes a helping verb. I have spoken or he has spoken. So, when we have to use it, we will study it. Then speaking, we cannot use ing form without any helping verb. So, I am speaking or she is speaking or they are speaking. So, what is the meaning of this? We will discuss then speaks without any helping verbs for someone we have to use it. But undoubtedly we will discuss all this v1 to v5 separately to know the verb forms and its meaning and then its usage, how to we have, how we have to use it in everyday communication that I will explain you in detail. So, have a very cool mind to study all these things and then see the change in the confidence that you will develop on how to speak English effectively. So, please bear it in your mind that V1 to V5 will take us ahead to speak English in a better form. Okay?